good morning YouTube and welcome back to our channel Sabbath do 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 what's up you guys and welcome to Houston it took us about five and a half hours to get here um, we got here super late and let me tell you Houston is not the business when it comes to stealth camping it was almost impossible to find a place to park my go-to's are kind of like Cracker Barrel and Walmart but um, those were not the case last night and we had to park in a residential block um, you know and that was just it we left Aldi's and got some delicious snacks and we also got breakfast at Waffle House It's a week before Halloween, so we are super into spooky season, and it's so humid. It's so hot. Oh my god. What's the name of this place again, babe? Taqueria El Ateo. Mm. These are some bomb tacos. Oh, and look at this sauce. Look at this sauce. And I had to get extra. Hey, really quick guys, this is our van page on Instagram, at Rio the Van. It would mean the world to us if you could go over to Instagram and like our van page. It's filled with unique experiences and places that we've explored, pictures that we've captured along the way. And we really want to grow this page as a travel blog. So if you can, please like, thanks. Um, can I also get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew? All right. That'll be it. By any chance, can I interest you in anything to see You guys, this pumpkin cold brew is so good. The fall vibes are living here in Houston, Texas today. So good. You have to try it because I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a seasonal limited time kind Hi of guys, So we made it to the skate park. Hopefully you guys can see it. I have bars on my windows, so I always try to give you guys the best view that I can. Um, I'm going to watch some TV. I pulled a muscle on my neck last night or yesterday, and my neck hurts really bad. So I'm just going to chill because we're going to drive home later today anyway. Tomorrow's Monday, which is the start of the work week. But yeah, laying down, got the cab, all. You know what, you guys? Okay, so a lot of people put a curtain right here to separate the living space. Oh, look at my dog. Super cute. Whoop, whoop. The living space and the cab space. But I feel like that would make it feel more claustrophobic. Wouldn't you guys say? Um, Because look at all that space it would be cutting out. Oh, you guys, I just got some Crocs. I just got some motherfucking Crocs. And they have van life. 
little chain uh, like uh charms All right, let me show you guys you. look that's a little van not my van but somebody's van look the little travel ones how cute and i got them from journeys we also have a jackery 300 so quick like you on the motherfucking quickness on the jackery 300 do i like it absolutely it will last me a week while charging phones a tablet a gopro a nintendo switch um and then three usb fans and the fans get charged daily right so i really like it um but i'm gonna save up for the jackery 1500 because i want to get an air fryer and an electric kettle we currently have a propane setup and i don't feel comfortable even with the windows cracked even with the doors open i don't feel comfortable cooking with propane inside the van so when it rains it makes it very difficult to make food so we'll have that option especially because the passenger seat right here folds all the way down flat and it has a hard cover on the bottom so um it will make things easier as far as weather conditions to be able to make food in the van but yeah um so if you guys have a jackery let me know which jackery you have how long it lasts for what do you charge on it because the 300 was just a perfect fit granted this is the first jackery i've ever bought also so i don't have anything to compare it to if it's worse or if it's better or anything like that but the 300 is good for us for what we need it for except for the air fryer there's no way no way Like your <laughs> oh yeah, Ricky just finished skating. I'm gonna insert some clips here. we just got home safe and sound as always this week was houston what's next week gonna be you're gonna have to tune in to find out and this is the real the van show subscribe